Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at how versatile this little 6x6 six six catch basin can be and how it can save you so much money over installing a French drain. We'll start with how to create the riser. Bring this from a deep depth to grade. So to extend a catch basin is relatively easy. Um, you can see how it sets up. We've got a riser. We've got a basin down below. Great. This is SDR 35 and it's six inch. It takes a six inch piece. They do sell Real these. Simple. Basically, we're gonna set our SDR 35 down in. Then we're gonna make a measurement. However you wanna do it, you can use a ruler. I like to just use a saw and give it a little score so we know where that's at. And then I can cut that off. So once you cut your pipe to the right size, Stick it down in your catch basin, wiggle it so it's good and tight down to the bottom. Set your catch basin on, and it's done. Now let me show you how easy it is to install this little basin onto an existing line. Much better than adding gravel perforated pipe, this catch basin will collect all the water. This is a catch basin readily available from Lowe's or Home Depot that you can install with just a few tools. A shovel, a rake, and a hacksaw. This is the area that we're working on and as you can see from the arrow the water comes down the sidewalk and pools up right there in the corner. Go ahead and pull back your mulch and then take your shovel and slowly dig down until you find the pipe. Be careful that you don't break the pipe or collapse the pipe what we're doing is digging out on both sides so that we can get a hacksaw in there to cut that pipe. There's our pipe. Next, take your catch basin and make a couple little marks where you're going to cut it. With your hacksaw, go ahead and cut both sides of the pipe and cut clear through. Next, one side of the catch basin slides into one side of the pipe. The other side slides into the other. Wiggle, pull until it makes a good connection and you're done. Go ahead and put back your fabric, landscape fabric, cut a hole, snap your cap in place, cover up the mulch, put it all back together, clean off the catch basin and there you have it. These little 6x6 six six catch basins are so versatile we use them all the time and as you have seen they can be set at any depth needed. So just like we did the uh, putting a T on here this is a double outlet catch basin so it's basically a T. We're going to make a cut here. Our first cut you just need to cut clear through. Yep. And we'll make another cut back here, which is our back side of the T. Cut it a little bit long. And then we'll fit our basin on. Remember, this is solid pipe over here, so there's no fabric. Perfect. Yep. Now we're ready to backfill and we'll bring this up to a with a little riser up to the right grade but this one was pretty deep to put a, a riser on it so we'll use this one instead. So if you need to make a riser we're here at Lowe's they've got these small two foot sections they're 16 bucks but they definitely make your life easier. So remember they're not available at Home Depot add the riser, simply cut the pipe to length and install snap on the grate. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're doing some drain cleaning. Let me show you what we're doing and why. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a garden hose and go ahead and get the water started down into this uh, drain line. This is a four inch perforated pipe surrounded by gravel. They call it a French drain. We call it a curb drain and it runs all the way down 
to the manhole. Let's go open up that manhole and see what kind of flow we so have. You can hear that water. The manhole has an entrance here and an exit here. And if you look over there, you can see that's just from the garden hose and coming down this entire hill. All that water is just pouring down into this manhole. What we use to clean out sewer, sewer lines, French drains, downspout drains, any type of pipe that we can get this steel cable in there, this stuff will work really good. This is a Spartan 1065. You can rent a similar machine at the Home Depot or uh, any, any good tool rent. This is a stainless steel spring wound cable. It actually has an inner core, which means there's some steel that runs through it as well, a wire that runs through it. And the way the machine works is the reel holds all the cable, it spins and builds up tension as the line, as the cable goes down the line, if it hits a stoppage, it'll build up tension and that cable will spin and cut out all the roots or debris. It will also help us locate if there is a broken or collapsed section of pipe, we'll be able to find that out because we can hear this cable as it goes through the so ground. While Chuck runs that cable, I'll walk down here to the manhole and listen for it and we'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, we did replace about 100, 150 feet of this line. We cut the driveways and we put in all new pipe. That's working great, but the association could not afford to continue on down this line, cut another driveway, dig all that up and bring it out here to the manhole. So we were pretty close. We decided to put this on a maintenance every six months and saves you know truly thousands and thousands of dollars over having to cut the concrete the apron pour it all back all those things so it's a really good idea to get your french drain onto a maintenance make sure you keep that line clean you will save thousands of dollars over having to replace it and or repair it so this line's pretty deep but i can hear that cable we're right here and we just need to go about another 40 feet under this drive over to the manhole. This is where we found the problem last time was right in this section. So it's kind of binding up a little bit, easy enough to get through with that 1065, makes it just sweet as pie. So from that catch basin, we are sending a cable down the line. It's going to come all the way down here to the manhole. Let's see if we can hear it in there at this point. Can you hear that knocking sound? We're really close. Okay, so we just went all the way to the manhole, showed you that. Now we're pulling it back. And what we want to see is what's on the end of that cable as it comes out of there. We definitely need to pull to clean this line. I see a couple of roots coming out of there. About 10 more feet, maybe 15 more feet. Now we're just gonna shut it off and pull it right on out of there. Now let's see the end of that cable. Nothing, nothing really as far as roots go, but again, line needed to be cleaned. You could see how after we got the cable through there, how it, the flow increased and it took all that water. So we have one more spot that we want to go into the line. We're going to go in this clean out and clean back this direction all the way back to the next manhole.
So we went all the way through, looking good. Cleaning your downspout drain, your French drain, maintenancing these lines, it is so important. It is something that you guys can do. It's really not hard. These machines are available to rent Home Depot, Sunbelt, whatever the local tool rental is, for less than $100 a day. And you can He's clean this line, back, maintain the line, and truly save thousands and thousands of dollars over having to dig it up and make repairs. Take a look at the debris that comes out of this line in slow motion. I'll brighten up the picture too so you can see it. Can you see that? That is sand and debris that has pushed out of that line and the cable just came through. You can also notice the increase of the flow rate. Once we cleaned that line, this line is so wide open again, it's amazing. It's like brand new. Remember, this is a section of line that was not replaced. This is an old French drain, 30 plus years old. And you can see that by cleaning the line, we're able to open it, maintain it, and save thousands of dollars over replacement cost. So hopefully, hopefully all these tips I'm showing you will save you some time. In fact, I know they will. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.